We made it to Spyglass. I mean, just take a look at that view. This is one of the hardest golf courses in the world. This is gonna be a really, really cool day. See, I've played this golf course on video games and now to, to do it in real life is, is pretty spectacular. All right guys, hole one. I, we do have caddy today, which is gonna be really cool, especially with where to hit it off the tee box, but Grant's gonna lead us off here. You'll probably see him in the back of the video every now and then, but this is kind of like a OG course vlog, but Spyglass, incredible golf course. Here we go. All right, driver for me as well. I'm gonna try to kind of go right down this tee boxes, maybe hang a little bit left. Is that okay? Yeah. We got it. We got a thumbs up from the back, so I think it's pretty good. <laughs> ah, feels good to start with a, a nice fairway here. A little, little discussing with my caddy. It's 2:30 to the pin. Plays down, probably downwind downhill, down to like 205, 200, 205 is kind of the shot that I'm thinking about hitting. I'm gonna hit either a six iron or a five iron. I think I'm gonna hit six iron. Once again, this is like. When it comes to an experience in golf, this is an absolute dream. So it's gonna be a great day regardless of what I shoot, but they do say this course is significantly harder than Pebble Beach, so we'll find out. That's short. Oh. Yeah, that downhill lie really kind of came out a lot lower than I was expecting, but I'm totally okay with being there. All right, I'm gonna go low bump, kind of just get this on the, get this rolling as quick as I can. We're gonna let Grant go, playing it out to the to the right there. These greens are hitting on the putting green is some of the fastest greens I've ever ever played on. So speed control is gonna be really important here. Sit, babe. Yeah, I saw it. I sit. actually saw it to the back. Sit, sit. sit. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Let's see if I can get this in there close and, and get out of here with a par. I didn't really feel like I hit that bad of a shot. Um, so that's a positive. That's it. Okay. All right. I got about seven and a half feet, feet for par, which is kind of, I, I wasn't expecting that, but you know, I got to. You gotta adapt. Can't be, can't get too shaken up by a, a long par put on the first hole. Mine's a little farther down the hill. It's probably just right edge. Yeah, yeah. I might be a little outside because you're not hitting hard. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Hole two, par four. It goes a little right. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna hit a little four iron about 230. Try to get just to the base of that hill. Hopefully give myself a wedge in. Is that pretty good? Yeah. That was a four iron take? Yeah. My four iron looks like it's so much longer. Yeah, I'm freaking short, dude. All right, 145. I'm gonna play this about about the number. I'm gonna hit a little nine iron. I was gonna hit a pitching wedge, but I just don't think it's quite enough. Really good placement in the middle of the fairway here. Aim a little left. Oh my gosh. Oh, it bounced left. Might be on the putting surface, but just said you couldn't go right, and I wasn't gonna go right. All right, a little bit left here. Now I have kind of a tricky third shot. I gotta put a little height on it. I'm gonna try to land it. I may try to land it just short of the green because it's gonna be fast. Mm. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good distance there. Got a pot putt. I think this is pretty straight. Thanks. All right, feels good to make a par on the second. It keeps me at two over par. These greens are so fast and you gotta be so respectful. All right guys, hole number three, par three, 140 yards down the hill, looking into one of the most beautiful views you'll see. This is absolutely insane. All right, pitching wedge for me, I'm gonna try to hit a little, a little bit of a cut and try to hit it. 145, 
start a little left, the wind's kind of working back towards it. I'll go, go. I don't know what's short, but I'm short. The wind kind of ate that up once it, once it came off the face. Dude, this bunker, it got deeper and deeper as I got down here. It's absolutely insane. I'm gonna, I'm below the level of the green. I gotta hit a little 58 and try to get it. It's into the wind, so typically this would be an easier bunker shot than most, but anything inside of five, like eight feet would be incredible. I mean, there's literally not much more you can do that. That's just the, probably not the place you're supposed to be. But the thing with today, they're having a tournament out here tomorrow, like a pro-am tournament. So all the pins are gonna be where they're not gonna be in the tournament. So like this, this pin is absolutely ridiculous. Gold today from the tips of Spyglass. Is it break 80? I don't know. With these, in pin, with these pins, probably. I think that's a great goal. Mike, is this gonna be extremely fast and break left? Yeah. Okay. Let it go, you know? All right, I love it. I was kind of thinking the same thing, so. It's not high enough. All right, that's a bogey. Three over par through, what is that, three holes? All right, hole number four, it is really short. I'm gonna hit driver. Uh, they said this is the fun play. It's not the smart play, but it's the fun play. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit it at that bunker back there and then the wind should take it towards the green. Oh my god, straight my at it! My goodness. Straight at it! Oh, it's short. A little short. Nice, dude. I think it's over the dunes though. A little low on the face, but I gotta I wanna I wanna have fun today, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna play aggressive and try to make some birdies. It's probably, I'm gonna, you're gonna make bogeys out there today, but if I keep it in play, figure out these greens, we'll be all right. This green is the most insane thing I've actually ever seen. It's like, it's like 10 feet wide and, and 115 feet long. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is brutal. I've never actually seen anything like this in my entire life. This is, un, this is incredible. All right, I literally just, I'm, I'm going 60 feet right of the pin here. Just trying to get on the surface, and I think it's going to end up where Josh's ball is. Oh, wow. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Good shot, Lee. Really good. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. No more than left edge here, just soft. <laughs> Dude, these greens are, are insane. <laughs> hey, first birdie of Spyglass, let's go. All right, hole number five, 190 yards. Downwind, uphill, I think it's a 185 shot. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to eight because I can swing a little harder. And if it comes in higher, it's, it has a better chance of stopping on the green. Oof. Oh no, that's in the... Is that in the bunker? Yeah. <sighs> Just got underneath it and behind it. But I feel pretty good out of bunkers. And I got a lot of green to work with, so. All right, pin high in the bunker. This was, I mean, I guess if you're gonna miss, if you miss in a bunker, it's probably better to be in a deep rough. Try to come in with a little, well, actually this is into the wind. I don't see this releasing too much. Yeah. Oh gosh, sit. Yeah, a little too aggressive, huh? Just hit too close to the ball. It's all right. Should I putt this or chip this? I'm a putter when it comes to ones like that. But this is a hard, dude. This is, like, this is a hard golf. <laughs> fast. All right, I, it's a little down grain, so I feel like it's. You, want me to pull you, one of you can leave it in. Kind of think right edge. All right. All right, back to three over. May have been egregious of us to 
play the tips today, but we're gonna stick with it. This is, My ball is I mean, right through now. four, through five holes, hand down the hard, hands down the hardest golf course I've ever played. Four hundred and fifty yard par four, uphill into the wind the entire way. I'm gonna try to hit a low driver here. Yeah. So we're tied at three over. Same boy. Through five holes. All right. Let's here we go. That's hard for three. All three. Four hundred and fifty. One thirty-five shot pitching wedge. Wind is it straight into. Straight in. Okay. What? Wow. Yeah, I hit that so good too. It's a little bit short, but I hit a great shot. I really did. All right, just a little bit short. I'm gonna aim just right edge and I'm I'm considering chipping this in. I'm trying to figure out if that's possible or not. Mm. A little work left for par. All right, I'm gonna play a little right center action here for par. Just put a good roll on it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Wow. Putt, I thought I missed it right for a second. It was weird. That's such a good putt. Thanks. All right, driver in hand, par five. Opportunity here if I hit a good drive. I'm gonna try to hit that little low ball flight again. Just, I feel like the lower I can keep it to the ground right now, the, the more control I have. Hmm, thanks. Yeah, that was a really nice one. Hopefully I can go for it in two. I don't know how long it is, but it looks long. I love it. If it's open, you're going. Let's go, Mike. Eight iron is 75, but if it's downwind out of the rough, it's probably 85. Yeah. But I, just, I don't think I can get over that tree. What, what happens if I miss right? There's a little space, especially if it's short. So just put a good strike on it here. And if I can get it somewhere around the front left, that would be incredible. Oh, it stayed dead straight. That was a flyer too. That could be interesting. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, me and Grant both put ourselves in the worst position. All right, I'm gonna try to go a little bit left with a little bit of spin on this ball into the wind. Try to hit this like a bunker shot. Oh. All right, got to get up and down. I mean, the only, I, I have to try to hit a little, like I'm not bouncing this through the rough. I'm gonna try to hit it just with a little, little like flop shot and land it right there on the front of the green. This could be interesting, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get creative out here. Stop, stop. I mean, I don't know if I could hit it any better. Chipping four par. I think it's probably pretty straight, but I'm gonna try to go low and just run it up there. Come on, Tig, let's do something special here. No, oh, go, go, go. So afraid of being long. All right, Mike, what are we thinking? It's left edge? Yeah, you're hitting it, so probably inside. Left, left edge is inside. Okay. Mm. Fun, Thanks. Good job. That was so good. Gosh. Just absolutely working for bogeys out here. This is insane. This is, this is I mean, I knew it was going to be hard today, but this is like another level. Hole number eight. Up the hill. I'm going to try to kind of favor the left here. Everything kind of funnels to the right. Oh, 
Thanks. <laughs> I just want to be in the fairway, not behind a tree. One twenty-two. So let's say thirty-two for the hill, and then lots of. I legit think I'm gonna hit eight iron. Yeah. Like a low eight iron. I like it. I like it. Keep it out of the wind. Is that pin forward or backward? Oh, it's on the back. On okay. The All right. One thirty-two. It's. I mean. It, it's where I'm hitting freaking at this angle right here. I want to come out low, 132 yards. I'm going to play it 155 maybe. I'm going to try to hit just a really controlled eight iron and keep it low. Oh gosh, oh gosh. It's a little long and left, but it actually, I think it's like pin high. I don't think it's that bad. Just, I mean, I gotta, I gotta go high if I want any chance here. Down grain though, so it does make it somewhat easier, but I just wanna try to land this on the front edge. Oh gosh. I mean, that's just not a good shot. There's like average shots and then there's that. Some of this is the golf course, some of it's not missing in the right spots. I'm gonna go about five feet right of it here Obviously that was not a great shot, but I was in a terrible, terrible spot. It's a little low bumping around here. <sighs> One of the craziest things to me is off the tee, I have been, I have been like ridiculously good today with my driver. I've hit it in like the best spots and then everything after that is just like gone to absolute pot. But because you miss just a little bit and it's just like, you're dead. I'm like shaking dead my butt. There's no way they could ever play a tournament. Is it left edge soft, soft, soft? Wow. Oh. Yeah, that feels like a birdie. I mean, I feel like with that pin location, I don't know, like the best place to miss the green is short, short yeah. but you have to still judge the speed up the hill. So if you miss it anywhere else, which is just impossible. Right down the mow line, 430 yard par four, hole number nine, into the wind and uphill. This is, this is insane. Thanks. Really good there. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I've hit this great and then you get up around the greens and it feels like, I'm like a scratch off the tee right now and I have nine off from <laughs> from then on out. Dude, I can't even imagine people, like even, even. Can you imagine playing a tournament here? Yeah, even if they have the pins in easy spots, they're so fast, the wind down, on downhill putts, if it was downwind, you'd never stop again. Never stop it. Seven iron here, 140 yards. I'm actually, I saw a couple shots just go hard right. So I'm gonna aim kind of left of the green here and just see if I can get something on the dance floor. Oh, yeah, that's that's the best shot I've hit today. <laughs> I got I got 10 feet here, and I am absolutely scared out of my mind. I mean, this thing, if I miss the hole, I could be where Grain is. Look, I could be all the way down there. I think I'm going to probably start it somewhere up in here. I like that. Is that too high, or is that no, good? No, I'd, I'd safer that way. All right. Hit a little softer up at the hill. <laughs> Dang. All right, that is a really, really good par on hole number nine. I shot four over through nine holes, which some might say that's not good, but you guys have no idea what we're dealing with here today. This is, I feel pretty good about it. Hands down the hardest, Grant, what do we think? The hardest golf course we've ever played? Hardest golf course we've ever played? It's the hardest course I've ever played because Beth Page was number one. This is this passed it with those yeah. two chips I hit back to back because those were. <laughs> but good. it wasn't like, just because of those chips. It's not just because of those chips, but it's just because of the wind and the elevation and how long the holes and are. how fast the greens are and undulated they are. Dude, this is hard. Oh. <laughs> 
clouds in the air for a long time. Do we like that? <laughs> I'm like almost a pin high on a 400 yard hole, but it's downwind. And to be honest, I'd rather have 85 yards into it, but I'm going to try to, I'm actually going to aim at Josh because if I give myself a birdie putt, I would consider that like pretty good right now. Go. Oh my gosh. See, that's what you get for being in this stuff. <laughs> I'm grinding for par again. If I could somehow mess around and shoot even par on the back, that would be epic. Do I try to get cute with it or try to give myself a putt for par over here? Just don't know if I'm that cute. <laughs> I mean, I could try to land it in the fringe and hopefully it would die mm -hmm. and kind of hit more of a regular golf shot, but that takes so much precision. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I should hit like... Thanks. Oh my gosh. Man, I felt so good over that and I rolled it exactly to the right edge. It just didn't break. But Josh is broke and Courtney's broke. I don't, you know what? Can't be frustrated. I'm first time playing this golf course and it's one of the hardest in the world. Just relax, bro. Hole number 11, we back to a par five. I just want to birdie a par five. Give myself a look at Eagle at least. Um, taking it over the corner here, it's like five, it's not as long, so it's like 550 or something, but it's downwind, so if I hit a good drive, I'm trying to get inside of 200. That was a little, a little healy, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna work out. We got a good from the caddy, so. Got a bunch of goods. All right, really nice drive here on 11. Um, par five, we got 164 to the pin, but it's, it's uphill pretty significantly and it's downwind. But I'm not gonna, pl I'm gonna play a 170 shot. I just, looking at what's short, just don't wanna be short, you know? Um, so just a nice smooth eight iron here. Try to get it up in the air and let it land soft. A little left of it probably is a little more ideal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks. Dang, I, I kind of pushed it a little bit, but my gosh, that was hit good. That felt like butter. All right, I am left with another just insanely difficult shot, mainly with how, how fast the greens are. But I mean, I'm gonna try to get this one up in the air and just let it land, land softly like it's landing on a pillow. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. Do you see how funny that was? It's like the club got all kind of jammed down in there. That was weird. Watch out for Courtney. All right, breaking left ever so slightly for birdie. It's pretty good looking, pretty good opportunity here. I blocked that so bad. Good play. Nice. Yeah. Man, that. That's a par. It's hard to believe that I should have hit nine out of there, but I feel like you like you just gotta hit greens because stuff is so sticky, the club gets stuck, you gotta <sighs> par's are the goal here. Alright, hole twelve, par three, hundred and fifty-five yards downhill. I'm hitting nine. Just a beautiful looking golf hole. Hopefully I make it. Oh gosh, what the heck? Oh, car path. Car path again. That's crazy. Well, my ball stayed in play and now I just gotta bounce this through the rough and just hope that I get lucky and it slows down.
That's in the water. Did, oh, it stayed up? I mean, I got a chance to chip in for par. I mean, you should never miss up here, but it's in like, that is an impossible golf shot. I'm gonna chip this in for par. I'm determined. That's another bogey. That takes me to six over par through 12 holes. I've, I've I made a double and then I made four bogeys and I've made six pars. And I've hit, I think that's my third green today and one birdie. All right, hole number 13, par four, 460 yards. Man, these back tees are crazy, dude. Let's see if I can gather a few more birdie, a few birdies coming in here, but 13 driver. I'm just gonna take it right over this left bunker. Hey, that's a fairway, baby. Come on. This is the start of a little six over. I'm seven. All right, I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to swing a little more forward to club. I'm tired of trying to hit half shots. 140, pitching wedge. Come on. Four grooves low. <laughs> it worked. Hey, I got a birdie putt. That's huge for me. All right, we're getting a read from Mike here. I think it's gonna break a little straight, to the. Straight to here, and then it has to go that way. Okay. So I'd say, to me, from here it looks like you're about here. Okay, I love that. That's where my line is. Got it. Yeah. Push down. Come on, tag. Come on. I felt that one. That was a really good read by Mike and a good stroke. Just end over end, right to make a birdie back to five over. That was my second birdie of the day. That one feels good. It's like golf feels so easy when you just hit three decent shots. Hole 14, 560 yards. I got one back on my mans right there, right through the middle of this end, this last tee box. I'm gonna hit this just like I've been hitting every other one. That was pretty good. Fairway. That's fairway? I think so. Don't Love it. On. Didn't necessarily come here to lay up, right? I mean, if I go in the water, I go in the water. It's it's not that big a deal, but you know, I'm 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 here to have fun. 246 yards to the pin. If anything, I I'm going to try to draw this ball, so if I if I hit a little too much of a draw, it should be fine, but anything just a little left of that pin should be fine. That left of the pond? I think so. Yeah, I chunked it a little bit, but it looks like it's just barely out of the water, but hey, that's why we play aggressive. Trying to carry this 20 yards and everything kind of breaks to the to the right after it lands on the green. So anything just 15 feet left of it on a line, it should work back towards it 20 yards. Dude, I am so mentally weak, it's unbelievable. I have a whole apartment left of my ball and I've, I just hit it. I'm gonna lose my mind. Give him one, come on. That's that's hands down the worst bogey I've made today. Like, I know that you're supposed to be all positive and upbeat in these things, but that right there, that crap, that's so mentally. Hole 15. It's a beautiful day, and I've and I've had a couple really bad situations, but uh, 50 degree in hand. I'm gonna try to go a little bit long of it and spin it back and make it. Oh, 
Yeah, just literally, I feel like I'm just... <laughs> I'm putting for birdie, which is... It's pretty good for me right now. Okay. That actually, you know... What a beautiful... I gotta say... I'm it's a beautiful like golf hole, and I'm putting for birdie, which is amazing. All right, we're looking over this putt, because I, I need to make it, because if it's carrying any speed past the hole, it's down where Courtney just was. 20-footer for birdie here. Need to make it, and then it'll bounce back action. Oh, no. Literally everything you said you didn't want to do, you just did. All right, here we go, we're right at Just outside, right? Yeah. Two bogeys in a row. I went from five to now seven over. Um, here it's Spyglass from the tips. I think it's rated like 78 or something, which is just, it's absolutely insane. These greens are so hard, but that right there, uncalled for. Moving on, hole number 16. All right, back into the wind. I'm gonna try to hit a little fade here. Cut the corner ever so slightly, but I got my man Mike over there watching this ball, so. That looks way too far right. It like started right over the dead tree and was fading. Was it pretty good? No. All right, we found my ball 117 yards into this hole. 117, so I'm going 50 degree. Just kind of throw something back there. Got a little hairy lie, so maybe it releases. Man, I want to make a birdie. What a beautiful golf hole, though. Golf hole. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Okay. That kind of set down nicely. That was, re that was really good. All right. Four birdie. Just knock one down here. Give it to him. Give yeah. it to him one time. Oh I my know. gosh. Oh, baby. Is that a yeah. <laughs> wow. Great freaking birdie. Courtney called that one five. Yeah, he did. Back to six over par. Good read. That was impressive. Two holes left? Two holes left. Dead center of the hole. That those feel so good. Like you guys know. You guys know that feeling. It feels so good. Hole 17, 303 to the pin. I have to draw this, I cannot hit a cut here. So I'm gonna try to hit this one, you know, hit it a little out toward the toe and just try to draw it in there. I do think I can get it on the green if I hit it well. I never saw it. Never saw it, but that's a really hard shot for me because I can't really draw the ball very well. 50 yards to get it on. I took a little relief from the cart path here. Yeah, I'll take that. That was, took that way upstairs. Another birdie incoming. Man, this is way out here. This thing has so much break in it. it. I like thought this green was flat and it's like not even a chance. This, this is like ridiculously fast. And it's just gonna continue to pick up speed. So the big thing is the start line. All right, Tay, do something. Let's go. All about start line here. Did you guys see where I'm aiming? I mean, I'm... Oh, my. That was a little too close for comfort. All right, guys, on to hole number 18, spyglass and six over par. Three more shots. That's all I'm looking for. Final tee shot, spyglass. I'm going right at the tent. I'm going to try to hit a low fade, just like I kind of been doing all day when I haven't had trees in the, in the way. Just make sure I close the face down. Let's do this. One last drive. Uh oh. It's good. Left rough, maybe. Are you sure about that? I hit it really hard. It was kind of drawing, though. I'm going to trust Mike here. No, I mean, it's not into the trees. Okay. You're just right. Here we go. Hit it really hard, so hopefully I have, a, hopefully I have an opportunity to get one on the dance floor and have a birdie putt here to finish. 162 back left pin. Where is the pin on that tent? It's right left edge of the tent. Okay. All right. I got a little eight iron. I'm going to go low draw. Try to land this about front of the green and let it release. 
Oh my gosh. Way short. Terrible golf swing, but hey, here's what it is. All right, guys, up and down for 78. Oh, come on. <laughs> Could you just go? Oh my gosh, thanks. To finish with a six over, 78. First time playing Spygast from the tips. From the extra tips. From the extra tips, not even tips. Wow. That's crazy. Spygast Hill from the farthest back tees you can possibly play is the blues on the scorecards of the tips and we went all the way back to the blacks. I didn't really say it at the beginning, but my goal today was to break 80 with the wind we had like on the front nine and then the back nine was incredibly difficult and I made some really good shots and that's a, that's a great up and down, but really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not gonna say what Grant shot, but we both had pretty good rounds out here. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Proud of you, dude. So, thanks. That was fun. Bye, glass. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's getting real. Okay, I'm getting close to 500K and you, with the support of you guys. Thanks so much for watching the videos. It allows me to have opportunities like this, which I never would have, have thought possible. So thank you guys so much. Shout out to Spa Gas, but shout out to Pebble Beach. It has been absolutely incredible. Love you guys.